सो वेलकम एवरी वन आई एम कुशल विजय एंड इन टूडेज टूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड रेस्ट ए पी आई यूजिंग जेंगो रेस्ट रेस्ट फ्रेम वर्क सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम अज्यूमिंग दैट यू हैव ऑलरेडी सेटेड अप योर आई डी ई एंड यू हैव पाइथन इंटरप्रिटर इंस्टॉल्ड सो लेट स्टार्ट आर पाई चाम प्रोजेक्ट लेट्स नेम इट एज रजिस्टर I'll be registering students, so I'm naming it as register. Let's start this. It will take a few seconds to start the project. So the virtual environment is building. So you can see our virtual environment is ready. So let's install some packages like Django and Django REST framework. This may take a few seconds. depending upon your internet speed so as you can see it is installed we have installed the latest version of django that is 3.1.2 so people were facing issues with django version 3.2 and python interpreter 3.7 so we have installed the latest one and it is uh, the problem is resolved in this so let's install the rest framework It's already installed in my virtual environment. Okay, so let's begin with our project building. First of all, I'll create a source folder, and uh, let's move inside the source folder. Here we'll start a Django project. Let me zoom this in. So let's start a project. Django admin. start project then let's keep the name of our project as api let's start an app as well side by side python manager py start app uh, let's name it as data where we'll have all the data so our directory structure is being ready now if you can see here we have the source folder we have the api and we have the data app now inside the api we need to add our installed apps first of all we have created a app called data secondly we have also installed rest framework we need to mention it here also fine now let's jump into building things or uh, before building now let's create a model we'll create a simple model for a student let's uh, inherit the model class it will have attributes like first name let's keep the maximum length this too i'm keeping these attributes blank and null reason being if these fields are remain empty so it will not throw any error to us let's keep last name as well copy the same thing for this so let's copy and paste i'm keeping these two things only in the model now we to specify the string this string is basically the name which will appear in the admin panel for every object of student class so not first name fine so our model is created let's register it to the admin panel first of all let's import that model here now let's register that model to the admin panel Okay, now it's registered. In order to access the admin panel, we need to have a super user. So let's clear this first and create a super user. But before creating a super user, we need to migrate all the changes that we have made till now. So we have a simple command for that. 
make migrations it will make all the migrations and now we need to migro migrate those migrations if you can see all the migrations are being migrated now now we can create our super user specify her username as coach email address at gmail.com speak password okay the super user is created successfully so let's run the server So our Django app is running fine. Let's go to the admin panel. So here we are in the admin panel now. Let's create some objects of this student class. And so let me add my name only. So that whenever we'll create the REST API, we'll have some output from that. So Ram Kishan Sam Smart. Andrew Wilson She Watson. So I've created four objects or five objects. Uh, yeah, I've created five objects. Objects. Now let's go to our Django application and let's start building the REST framework, the REST API. So go to the views. Let's create the endpoint for our REST framework. So I'm naming it as API. Class pass. So let's first import some some things from the REST framework. Dot view API view and also from REST framework response. Okay, now we have everything. So we'll inherit this API view and now we'll create our endpoints like the get endpoint. And here we'll fetch all the objects from our student class and then serialize them and provide it to the user. So let's do it. So let's collect first all the objects from the student class. Now we don't have student class or student model here, so we need to import that. <coughs> import student objects dot all okay. now we have all the objects from the student class now what we need to do is we need to pass them to a serializer and then provide it to the user so our serialization we need a serializer class so let's create that first and following the convention let's create the serializer class into a serializer file serializers.py here we'll import from the rest framework dot serializer serializer fine also we need to import our model because this is what we are going to serialize now let's name our class student serializer inherit that serializer class we need to have a meta class inside this where we'll have a model name that is the student and we need to specify the fields that we want to carry forward or show it to the front end or the api view so we'll we need all the fields so we have we we'll use all so a serializer is ready so let's import our serializer here serializers let's import student serializer 
now we need to pass these sketch the output of that serializer class into this variable and pass these objects to the student serializer since we are passing multiple objects we have to specify this uh, what variable attribute that is many we need to set it true now we'll have all the serializer data inside the serializer variable and we'll return it to the api view inside this response and that will be the data so get endpoint is done and if you forgot to add request here so our get endpoint is done we can we should create a post endpoint as well we will be getting a request and here we will create an object only based on the data we will get in the request dot post so let's create that student dot objects dot create so first name to be something and last name to be something so we'll have our data request dot post data first name last name and we'll return a http response so let's in import the http response as well django dot http import http response object is create okay so the endpoints are done we should run our server now and check if the endpoints are working we need to set up our urls first and then we'll start a server first of all let's import our views from api dot views since it's a it's a class based view we'll redirect the paths like this let's call it this and api dot as view since it's a class based view so everything is done now let's run our server and check if it's everything working fine or not okay we are not in the source directory and one more tip do make the migrations every time you run the server so let's do the migration first and then proceed if you can see we have these errors okay no module name api okay although we have this class okay so this is not api it's data we have kept the wrong name so let's clear this see this is how we catch errors <laughs> okay there is no migration so let's migrate if anything left behind nothing so let's run the server wrong spelling now we have the server running now we have the server running we have the path like api so here is our api view and if you can see here no objects are actually coming this is weird let's check so i resolved the error and found out that we have done a silly mistake the class that we used to inherit inside a serializer was wrong we need to in, uh, you know inherit model serializer class because we are serializing a model class fine so it's working fine now let's run the server and see the data okay we are not in the current directory let's run the server let's go to our endpoint 
this API. And you can see here, we have the serialized data of all the objects that we have created with the given IDs. We can also create or test an endpoint, post endpoint using, you know, by passing a dictionary of all the required values from here. So let's do that. Keep in mind to have these double quotes to pass that JSON data. First name, let's keep it Paul. And the last name to be Walker. These are the two attributes that we require at the post endpoint. Let's pass them. So we are getting an error. You're getting an error. The reason being we, are, we were catching post request here, which will include no data. Actually, for when you, we use API view, the data comes uh, inside an attribute data in the request header, in the request. So we'll use that. And now when we create a new, want to create a new object of the student class, we can pass on our attributes uh, like the name and the first name and the last name Paul Walker and then we'll create our object if you can see object is created and when we'll run our endpoint again we'll see that our Paul Walker is here so this is how we have built our Django REST API using Django REST framework I hope you have liked the video uh, and you have learned something from this video share with your friends and uh, do subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. Stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.